This is the largest package I think we've ever opened. What's up guys, nothing to see here, just me and a large package that we're going to be opening and I have no idea what's inside. I think it might be a collection, but we're about to find out. I'm going to do y'all a favor and open this thing and get everything out, you know, off screen. So you're welcome. We do have a giveaway. These three cards. Just like the video, be subscribed, and let me know what you think's in the box. We are already encountering some unexpected items. Look at this. A Kaiba collectible trading pin. This is a good start to whatever it, this package is. I really have no idea. I think it was a collection, but now I'm seeing this, and now I'm not sure. Another Kaiba. Check out this Yugi one. Okay, that's pretty sick. There is a giveaway package, so I'm guessing this is like a collection. What? Oh my goodness. No way! A sealed sacred cards game for the giveaway? Okay, this thing's taken to my hand. Wow, so double giveaway today. I got something else stuck to my finger. What is that? So a sealed sacred cards video game. All you have to do is enter the giveaway, like the video, be subscribed, and just leave a comment about something about sacred cards or maybe a video game that you guys enjoyed. That's pretty crazy. That's a great giveaway. There are multiple boxes in this thing, so we're going to have to cut all of them open, see what they are. Inside, we have a bunch of sleeved cards. Oh, look. Magician's Force, first edition. Cool. Is this like a Magician's Force? Oh. Oh. Magical Scientists and Wave Motion Cannons. That's actually pretty nice stuff from first edition packs of Magician's Force, which are extremely rare and hard to find now. So these are probably actually worth a few bucks each. Okay, what could these be? Time Wizard. Nice. Oh, Dark Magician Girl. That's the Korean one, but still has a lot of value. So that's a good one. Uh, oh, Jinzo. Is that a reverse? I think that's a reverse. Yeah, check this out. All right, here's a regular uh, Secret Rare. It goes this way, the lines of the Secret Rare. This one, as you guys can see, goes this way, which is very, very cool. All right, now what is in these? Master Monk at the Penguin Soldier. The Trihorn Dragon, very cool. That appears to be... I can't tell if that's a reprint or not. We'd have to take it out. That's definitely a reprint. Uh, Guy the Dragon Champion, Vampire Lord. That one looks like an old school one. Uh, Terra King Archfiend, Medora, Different Dimension, The Mirage, Terra King Archfiend, Reflect Bounder. I love Reflect Bounder. That's a cool card. And uh, the Scapegoat. What's on the rest? Ooh, the Blue Eyes White Dragon from JMP. Nice. Dark Magician Girl. That has a decent value. I think they're like 30 bucks each in these Lost Art promos. anti Raigeki from TP3. That's a valuable card. There's a... Okay, Korean Dark Paladins. Very cool. We've got some more Korean cards. I really like the Prismatic Foiling on the Korean. I wish they would do that. Um, they do it... I mean, they do it for the uh, the tins, but I wish they'd do it a little bit more. In Korean Red Eyes, Gaia, Dark Magician, Exodia. Very nice. So pretty nice stuff to start this thing off already. We have another box. All right. I always find it a little bit uh, <laughs> kind of gross. <laughs> you have a paper towel in there. I mean, I know it's it's not used, but, you know, it's just the, the thought of a used paper towel in there. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get over it, but let's let's see. Okay. It looks like these are just a bunch of random cards. You have Nine Assailant is actually worth a little bit, a couple dollars. Spirit Reaper, and very nice cards. We got a Lost Wind. Ah, oh, yeah, Lost Wind. Patrol Robo. I mean, this is a lot of old school. Oh, Sasuke Samurai is an ultimate rare. Imperial Order Secret. We got a Mobius. That's awesome. Just a ton of old school stuff right here. Dark Necrofear, Machine King, Necro Valley. This is just a ton of old school, nice foil cards. And then, you know, common follow in. Nice. Uh, Dark Moon. That's an ultimate rare. We got the, Sa the Ninja Grandmaster Sasuke. Uh, that is an empty sleeve. Siaru, that that card's been through the ringer. I mean, check that thing out. Yeah, you can even feel it. Donza Lug, Dark Necrofear is very cool. Sinister Serpent. Oh, another Dark Necrofear. Just a ton of old school classics in here, which is nice. So far, this has been a pretty cool collection. I mean, I am definitely interested in this so far. It's very cool. Metamorphosis. These are all like ten dollar cards in near mint, I think, or maybe even a little bit more than that. Fiend Comedian. We got the Hungry Burger. Very nice. We got the Sky. The Parrot Dragon. This card used to be a lot, but it got a reprint, I think, in like Kaiba, or maybe it was Yugi. I can't remember. Uh, so that brought the... It wasn't It wasn't Yugi. It was later. It was either... Maybe it was Joey. I don't know, but it was pretty expensive. Jamming Waves. Invoked Kaliga. Beat. Ah, oh, the good old Fur Hires. If you remember those on Duel Links. Backup Soldier. Prohibition's pretty good. Cosmo Queen, a classic McDonald's. Where's our Millennium Shield? Oh, it's right there, right behind us. <laughs> Let's see what is in these. Another Necrofear. This guy was a huge Necrofear fan. Man Eater Bug, the Mystical Elf. We got These are all reprints right here, other than the Necrofear, which doesn't have a reprint. Or at least not a recent reprint. What? Oh, that's the sleeve. I was like, this rarity's crazy, but it's just the sleeve. Okay. The Artificial Rarity, I like it. That makes them look cool. Pot of Reed. You can even make your commons look nice, which is awesome. Perfect Machine King, Master Restrict. What is this? Ooh, the Mass Beast, Descadius. I always love that one. Ooh, the Secret Regenzo. That's cool. And another Nine Assailant. Man, some really nice stuff in here. I mean, like, we're not talking huge money, but we're talking cool stuff. Oh, there's more hollows. Are these hollows? 
Wow, I mean, these are like old school hollows, and they're unsleeved, which is uh, interesting. We got the uh, dark piercing light. Cool. I mean, I see why that one's not sleeved. <laughs> Backup soldier. I mean, these are not in terrible, terrible condition for the most part, other than the bent one. But uh, pretty nice stuff here. Unfortunately, they are in the uh, the old flipperoo where that you know you go a few cards, you have to flip it upside down, and they're backwards. And okay, I say that now. I jinxed it into being the the right way. First edition, Dark Crisis Sukiyomi's are like five bucks. So that's pretty good. Dark or Nightmare Horse. Okay, these are getting more into the starter deck comments. Okay, here's a couple more foils. Messenger of Peace, Goddess of Whim, Torrential. That's that's a pretty big one right now. I mean, it's pretty useful. It's always been a very good card. Dekoichi, always love that one. It's a little bit shifted on the seven tools, which is cool. And Spellbinding Circle. A lot of old school stuff here. Revival Jam got the sleeve uh, treatment. Somebody wanted to sleeve that one. We got a Trap Jammer. That's a reprint. Uh, a few comments from Dark. Oh, the Kaiser Coliseum. That card is very, very annoying, but also very good. Final Countdown, a lot of those. Skilled White. Karibo! Mystical Sheep, oh, Manju with a thousand hands, Skill Dream, Rai Senshi, uh, the Relinquish, gotta love that card, and Backup Soldier. A few more cards, man, a lot of foils in these Unsleeved, I was not expecting that, usually it's all common, so, uh, Humanoid Worm Drake, pretty hard one to find, actually, if you try to open a box and pull it. Curse of the Mass Beast, man, Mass Beast all over the place, let's flip these around, more Mass Beast. Man, they're all over the place, there's an upside down foil after Genocide, very cool, because they changed the name. Ugh, the Woodlands Fright. And then some Senjus. Very cool. Very cool stuff. Overall, it's been a pretty sweet collection. We still have like two more boxes, like large boxes coming. In here, it looks like these are a bunch of regular rares. We're going to take a quick look, but it's a bunch of stuff like this. So they're all in these team bags. So that probably means they're not like crazy. We're going to check a couple of them and see if we miss it, like miss anything. All right, we'll check a couple of them and make sure that they don't have like foils inside. If they if they're just like rares and stuff, we're probably not going to go through all of them on video. Let's see. We got Dark Core. Okay, MFC. So are these all MFC. Okay, LON. So these are just all rares, I guess. Fatal Abacus. We got the Turtle Tigre. Very nice. Okay, all rares, it seems. Uh, which is pretty cool. You know, they're nice and organized. Hard armor. Okay, we're getting into comments. Your reasoning's a pretty good one, actually. Just a bunch of old school stuff. Prohibition's actually really good. Um, okay. And yeah, a bunch of rares. Alright, let's see if these are any different. We got a bunch of spirit message. The L. Wah, wah, wah. Okay, spiritualism. Okay, some more comments here. We're not even going to bother flipping all these comments. Um, yeah, it looks like mostly commons in here. Let's see if anything's different here. Some rares. All right, yeah, so this is all going to be rares and commons in this box. And we still have this whole box. I suspect it's going to be commons, uh, but we'll see. All right, inside here we have just a bunch of sleeved up commons. And then it looks like down here there is a couple of boxes of commons. So... That looks like we hit the good stuff at the very beginning, which is, this is fine. I didn't realize that I was going in that order, but that's okay. We did see some pretty cool stuff in this collection. Let me know in the comments how much I should pay for this collection. I assume that I'm buying this. I got to make sure that this came from where I thought it did. Otherwise, I'm going to be very confused, but we'll find out. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more epic videos. Shout out to TCG, Trusted Cards, Toe and Fo Show, Tomato Juice, Cody J, Hawaiian Yu-Gi-Oh, Stanley, Mike, Nancy, Mimic, Gecko. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I will see you guys later. Peace.